How's it going everybody? Dr. Odoi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters theme video. And this time I'm covering two important mechanics that I think if you implement into your game plan, you'll secure a lot more wins. So in Dragon Ball Fighters, defense can be kind of hard, especially when you're dealing with characters like Adult Gohan that have block strings that can literally go on for a full minute. But that's only if you sit there and block. The two mechanics I'll be covering today are Reflect and Z-Change, both of which are immense helps on defense. The gameplay you're watching in this video comes from a session I played in last night in which I repeatedly got matched up against the same guy and we had some really good games back and forth and I think what helped me take most of my games were these two mechanics. He was a really solid player when he got me in the corner so if I just stood there and blocked more than likely I would have gotten mixed up at some point. So let's start by taking a look at when each of us decided to use the mechanics and why we decided to use them at the time we did. Let's start with Reflect. So you'll see here at the beginning of one of our matches he gets hit with Goku Blue's auto combo. Now the reason this worked on this particular player is because a lot of the times I go with a low here, and we've played a lot of games at this point so he was probably expecting that, but I decided to mix things up and go with the overhead. And you'll see that when I come in for pressure in the corner, he starts mashing reflect. The reflect mechanic by the way, is performed by pressing back and key. This is because over the course of our games whenever I got him in this position, I would usually go for a lower overhead. This game I decided to tag in Tien, which reflect also works against, and he pushes Tien back to neutral. And after that, thanks to some good spacing, he's able to pick up my Tien in a good combo and puts me in the corner instead. And just a tiny bit later in the match, you can see we're in a position in which I use the other mechanic, the Z change, which is performed by after blocking a hit, you quickly hit forward in the assist button of the character you want to call in. In this case, what was going through my mind is that I've seen what this guy's able to do in corners, and I'm out here with Goku Blue, which is arguably my best character, so this isn't really the position I want to be in. So I look down to see how much meter I have, and see I have three bars. This is where I decided to tag in Yamcha because Yamcha doesn't need that much bar to function, and also I was learning Yamcha during these games, so it's not that big of a loss if I happen to lose him. Another example of this same thought process can be seen when he's down to his last character, Tien, and he hits my Tien with a hard knockdown. Now I'm way more comfortable with Tien than Yamcha, and Tien also serves as my anchor, so I have to spend one bar to get Yamcha in so he can take the beating in place of Tien. Of course it actually works, so Yamcha knocks Tien back, which is also a better position than I was in anyway. It's important to remember that in the grand scheme of things, Z-Change is a great way to get your characters out relatively safely, so that they can go ahead and recover some of their blue health. Switching out your characters without doing anything else is very susceptible to being down heavied, which can lead to a full combo in your opponent's favor. Of course, Z-Change can also be used in a sort of offensive way as well. Here's a clip of me having Android 16 down to very minimal health and in the corner. Now he gets a hit on Goku Blue but I blocked it, and realizing that I wanted to continue the pressure, I opt to spend a bar and call in Yamcha to finish him off. Another cool thing about the Z-Change is that when you're down to your last character, instead of tagging somebody else in with the Z-Change, it actually acts as a pseudo vanish in which you teleport behind your opponent and hit them, so it still has its uses of getting you out of the corner. Before we wrap up the video, let's cover the reflect mechanic a little more and why it has its purpose next to the Z change and just blocking. So the reflect is special in the fact that it reflects both lows and highs. So if you're not sure which kind of pressure they're going to hit you with and just want to push them away, then you can opt to reflect. You can see I do that here once he ends hitting me with a block string and then opts to go for an overhead. Not wanting to deal with the pressure, I simply just reflect and put us back into neutral. I don't have too many good clips of reflecting though, so that's about the only scenario I can show you. I know the video is kind of light on that end and I'm sorry about that. But with that said, I wanted to ask you guys. Have you been using these mechanics in your game? And if so, how have they been working out for you? Please be sure to leave me your thoughts on that in the comment section below. I'll be down there as always. And while you're down there, if you like the video and the channel, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.